Okay, so in this video, we'll be talking about transform of derivatives. So how we are going to get the uh, Laplace um, transform of a derivative function. Okay, so let's have this one. Okay, so uh, there is a theorem in which if a function is continuous, then the Laplace transform of that continuous function of, of the derivative of that of that Laplace of that continuous function is equal to the so we just write here the um, the formula for the theorem. So if the Laplace transform of a continuous function, okay, for example, we have this function as um, f prime of t okay so the laplace transform of this one is equal to s l s then the laplace transform of f of t uh, minus f function of f of 0 or the function the value of the function is substituted with 0 so that is the transform of a derivative so this is a first order derivative for example we have a a what so called that the we have a we have a second order derivatives we have f double prime of t okay so this will be s squared Laplace f of t, then we have minus another s here, so Laplace transform of oh no, this is s not Laplace transform but, but s f of 0, then minus f of 0. So, another word if you have the third order derivative. Okay, so we have f dog triple prime of t so that is third order so we have s cube laplace transform of f of t minus um, s squared f of zero minus s f f prime of zero minus f double prime of zero so as you can see the first coefficient or the first term of this um of these uh transforms are the exponent of the s is equal to the degree of the derivative of the function so for example this one is first order so this is uh, also s no so first uh first degree s then followed by the, the laplace transform of the function okay, of the function which is not on the derivative form then minus f of zero so in the next uh, transform we see that the s is equal to uh, s is raised to the power of two because the degree of this one is on the uh, second degree then descending to s until it the s now will be equal, the exponent of s is equal to 0. This is s, the next term for this one is s to 0. But s to the power of 0 is equal to 1. So we could that we could just omit that one and let's go directly to f prime of 0. So for the third degree, so that is s cubed, s squared, f of 0, then s, f prime of 0, then minus f double prime of Zero. So there is a certain series for this one. So there is a certain um, arrangement in getting the uh, transform of a derivative. So if we are going to have the Laplace transform of f, uh, f, so to the fourth order, so usually if you have, you will have the fourth derivative of a certain function, so we just write this one open plus parenthesis and the order inside so this this will begin with s4 the laplace transform of the um, root function or the function which is not on the derivative form minus s cube this is f of 0 
minus s squared f prime of 0 minus s f double prime of 0 then minus f triple prime of 0 so that is how we are going to get the transform of a derivative okay so there is a pattern for this one so the the general formula for this one will be given so if you want to have the um, general formula so this will be the Laplace transform of f to the n so that is the order of the derivative the nth order is equal to s to the n f of s so that is the Laplace transform of this one the root function minus the summation of n minus 1 k is equals to 0 s n minus 1 minus k then f k function of 0 okay so that is the general form where in your k here your k is equal to um, n minus 1 okay so that is your k so just have this one as um, k is equal to n minus 1 so that is the last term okay so that is how you will get the um, the derivative or the transform of a derivative okay so i hope you learned something for, from this video thank you for watching and as always enjoy learning